Good morning, Dominic Nation. Welcome to the vlog. It is when it is Tuesday. It is day three of travel vlogs. I had to try to get up as early as I could. Well, Carol got me up, basically. And I just wanted to... First time ever seeing this town. Wanted to get some shots. So we are staying at the... What is it called again? Hotel North. And uh, there's the ferry over there. Carol picked this uh, hotel just because it's like right by the ferry docks. So... I haven't been on a ferry in a very long time. I think I was like seven or 10 years old. Last time I was on a ferry and it was before they built the bridge over to, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Prince Edward Island. And uh, so that was the only ferry boat I've ever gone on. I think we actually took the, the car to, if I can remember correctly. So the ferry's just down by the dock and uh, that's the town. So let's gotta pack up the car. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna eat breakfast first. We have to be in line for the ferry by uh, 9.45, I think. Some of these numbers don't make sense, the, 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 the times. Cause I thought the boat leaves at 11. Yeah, that's right, so that's right. 11.45 is when the boat departs. So you gotta be in line by two, or sorry, by a nine, 45 because they have to do all these things to your car before you get on the boat they don't want you to take over any contaminants uh, over to the uh, the rock that's what they call uh, Newfoundland the rock okay back at the hotel room just quickly checking everybody's gone just checking I guess that's my money I guess I forgot it I forgot my money honey all right, so last check in the bathroom. Oh, geez. It's one of those ones where if you, as soon as you walk in, it's supposed to go on. It doesn't work. Uh, please do not disturb. That would be the wrong sign. To leave for the maid. Cleaning services. So we're just going to uh, go to the restaurant, get some food, and then go get our car and the lineup. I looked they're already down there. Jeez. I can't wait a second for daddy. Daddy. We got our uh, eggs benedict. Uh, very plain looking, nothing too fancy. Carol got uh, French toast. French toast. Megan got that. Bread. <laughs> there was nothing on the menu that tweaked her melon. Uh, right now we're in line. We're at uh, Gate number two it doesn't mean anything, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, oh, and I I'd rate that uh, an indifferent as well. But if I if I went to that restaurant again, I would not order the eggs Benedict. This is the lineup. So there's uh, many many lanes, depending on if you're a car or RV or truck. And uh, so we're in lane eight and it is 9.45, which is exactly when we wanted to line up. And uh, I'm thinking that we are, we are on that boat, which is good because that's the, that's the boat I videotaped this morning or with my drone. I don't think we're on that one because that one says Atlantic something. Atlantic vision. Good, you got good vision because I can't read that. So I guess we're on this one. I was kind of hoping we were on this one because it's more of a, a ocean liner it's than this one. <laughs> oh, hello. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. What's going to happen? It's not going to happen. You guys love Carol and my vlogs just for that reason. You know you're traveling across uh, eastern Canada when. Check that out. Mmm. That is a murder scene right there. We call it the slaughterhouse. <laughs> we call it the slaughterhouse. Yummy. Uh, oh, it looks like no. a boat inside. <laughs> We've been asked to return to our vehicles. The best place for I thought they said. <laughs> Okay. This would be like the worst place for a zombie apocalypse to happen. Yeah. 
You see them coming through the cars. Everyone tries to get in the boat. Nice. So yeah, we're uh, going from North Sydney to Port Basque, and uh, they've just asked us to go back to our cars and wait for further instructions so they can release the zombies. Starting to move in the line. Got our tickets ready. Not sure exactly what to do, but they'll explain it as we get closer. We are going on the Highlanders. So they have to wait. And we are moving, which is nice. I just want to get on the boat and walk around, check it out. Just got our tickets scanned. I'll go around. Thank you. We're going up the big ramp. Ho oh, ho ho ho! So I guess they, we get to a certain point, then you guys get out. Nice. Want me to slow down more? Carol's got to take the picture. That's very cool. Come on, people, she's saying. <laughs> Wake up. Sweet. All pulled in. They got all these to hook up to vehicles to chain them down so they don't move. So there's some trucks over there and they're chained down to the ground. I guess if it's rough seas, they gotta chain everything down so they don't slide all over the floor. But uh, we have to get up to deck seven. Good to go. I'm gonna make sure we have all of our stuff on us. We actually got a uh, room. Hello. We're gonna go uh, up to our cabin. Check that out. Dump our stuff so we don't have to carry it around the deck while we cruise this boat. Eight one six nine. Eight one six nine. Yeah. This way. Nice. Arrow. In and out quick. Okay, put it in this time and leave it. Just to make sure. Oh, a little bit slower, patience. Oh, look at the attitude face. Oh, we got a own toilet as well. I call top box. Okay, I guess top or bottom? Uh, okay. I don't honestly care. Well, I was offered. I know, I was just saying I don't, I don't care which one. I'm gonna go pass it. One out one. Oops. And we got barf bags on here. I can't wait to use it. Eggs Benedict coming up. Oh, so tight in here. That is, I got a shower. This is so cool. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever been on a cruise boat or a ferry. That's awesome. And we got a window, which is so cool. Is that the, that's a light switch? Oh, okay. That's a big ass light switch. The drunk people. This is what it looks like if I back right up to the door. Very cool. Ben, show the view. Wish my hand was stuck on it. Describe what you see. Oh, uh, water? This water? Yeah, there's uh, some ocean down there. Some butt pinching. <laughs> and some docks, lots of tires. And one lonely car. One lonely car? Did you put your finger on the... Yeah. I just felt like waiting. We are in this one. 8169. So these are the life rafts we'll be using later when the boat goes down. When the boat strikes an iceberg. When, this, when the boat... You know what's cool is you actually load it up here and then it lowers you down. That's what it looks like. Yes. So you don't freeze to death. I wonder if they have like movies on that. Is that an option? Cool. Like you can like walk all the way. No, you probably can't. Yeah. 
That's our hotel over there, way up on that hill. Reception, got gift stores, got toques. You gotta get out or no? Let's get screeched in later. Got washrooms. Honey. The food area, dining area, very cool. We got some. Oh, ah, that's the quiet room. It is. That's where you dump your child. We got a bar. We got a beer. Finally, after two days. Of course. First beer. Oh, show the logo. First beer in four days, three days. Say we go try to figure. And he spills it because I forgot how to drink. This is the front. What's, what's, what do they call it in Star Trek? Forward. Ten forward. Uh, ten forward is it? The ten forward. What are we doing? This is like they all came to ten forward. I just wanted to look out the window. I guess that door closes. <laughs> We're back up on deck eight. Just uh, seeing this is, uh, you can also buy, purchase these seats, like an airplane. And then those are your seats the whole way across. So it's assigned seating. Anybody can sit in these seats. You just come down, grab a seat, and put that they're like airplane seats. Oh, see, so reserve seating is deck nine. That's what I was thinking. And these ones all face backwards to this entertainment section. So this is looking backwards to the stern. Very cool. So if you didn't want, if you wanted to save money and just sit here for six hours, but we got beds. This is deck nine. Very nice. So this is the preferred seating. How much different is the this than the other ones? That one's a longer route. Yeah, you could have taken that one. Oh, well, I'd rather take the drive. Really? Stuck on a boat for we're going there. Hopefully, see that. Cool. We're going to check out deck ten. This is apparently the sun deck. Oh, very nice. Very bright, whoa. We are starting to depart. to put it into light speed, warp speed, engage. Just come back to pick up my bag, Ben sleeping. Look at that bomb, look at the bomb. Six hours of sleep sleep. Come on, let us see your toe. All the requests are toe footage. He's washed it off. So he says, but we use permanent. <laughs> it's 2.30, I'm on my third beer. I'm trying, uh, the bartender told me to try Black Horse, which is only brewed in Newfoundland and Labrador. It's 5% alcohol. 
It's supposed to be an ale, right? Premium lager, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Carol's gonna see if she can wrangle the children, see if they'll come down for lunch. But let's try this black dog, a black, black dog, black horse. It's not bad. I'll try a couple and then I'll try a Canadian. That way I'll get my taste buds accustomed to it. But right now it's not bad. It's definitely better than a hoppy beer. Mm. Okay, let's get back to work. Putting the vlog together. Let's see where we are. <gasps> We're at the Hopewell Rocks. Let's get back to work, people. So we think it's around 4.30. Uh, you can see Newfoundland in the very f distance. I was downstairs working uh, in the front galley, I guess you could call it, 10 forward, let's call it. And uh, all of a sudden people just start standing up because they saw whales in the distance. Then we saw lots of dolphins. And so I went down, back down to our cabin and got Ben. And he was the only one who wanted to come up and see the, the whales and dolphins. If we actually see them again, I don't know. Maybe there's a certain group of them that only go through this area all the time and we've passed it, but we're going to keep looking until we find some whales or dolphins. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. Is it six? And, uh, I guess I slept for about an hour and a half? An hour? Maybe? had to wait in a huge line to get in an elevator to come downstairs to get to our car. I'm curious if they sprayed our cars once they we were... gave everyone a free car wash. I can't tell if they... Did they spray our car? It looks like the same amount of bugs are on it as before. It's time to get off the boat. We left the boat I thought I'd just come into town look around uh, we're hungry so we've got to look for a place to eat Carol went I think she went that way and the kids went that way so hmm I might have to uh, text them find out where they went finished doing all the stuff that we were doing down there. We stopped at Tim Hortons just to grab a quick bite because we got to get going down the road. Oh, I forgot to open that thingy. The cap, you know, got to open the cap. Somebody said in, in uh, one of my social medias, welcome to Newfoundland. Sorry about the gas prices because it is $1.25 for regular. Almost $1.26 per liter. And these are really old pumps. No credit card information. And you can't put your tap, no, no tap and go here. Anyway, we're at like a Circle K Irving gas station, I think. Irving, Irving. Clean gasoline. Clean gasoline, yeah. That's what we should say. So it came, I put in 25 liters, it came to $32. Yay, finally a beer, I mean a gas station that sells beer. I can't buy anything too big, it won't fit in the car. We'll have to make room though, or kick Ben or Megan out. Beer first, kids last. All gassed up, bellies are full, got the beer. Next stop is... Stephenville. Stephenville. And the hotel is Hotel Stephenville. So handy when they name it like that. 
All right, let's go. It is 10.30 at night, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. And we're in Stephenville, this is where we're staying tonight. But I'm not sure if you can see the horizon. It's still light along this horizon. So, and it's 10.30 at night. So because we're so much higher up on Earth, that uh, you'll it'll take a lot longer for it to get dark, dark. Um, people that I've talked to in Scotland, I think they say it, it never gets bright dark, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, during the summer months. During the winter months it stays, it'll have a really short period of light. But we are here now. I thought Ben was coming in, but Carol's, Carol's joining us. Hi. Hi, how are you? You just fell? Here comes Carol. She's packed up like a mule. That's okay. Huh. I'll help you. Huh. So this used to be an old military base and apparently Elvis stayed here. Who else? Dean Martin? Dean Martin, Bob Hope. Bob Hope. And some other... So it's got some history people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. Stay tuned till tomorrow when we go to... Uh, where are we going tomorrow? Grossmore National Park. Carol, Carol described it as... What? That's so I told you, Megan took him. <laughs> Did you see the worriedness? Oh, stolen bags, epic. Oh, it's Stephen Bell. Nice they are. That's why Megan took your bags in for you. Anyway, we're going to Gross National Park. Carol described it as it's like the Grand Canyon, but full of water. Well, the Pond. Right. West Pond. But the rest of it's just a really big, beautiful nature park. Right. So have a good night, people. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh wait, let me show you the room. So it's a very musty smelling room. There's an old barracks. Look at the ceiling. Cool. Great. That's a very high ceiling. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.